Here we go. Hi, everybody. It's Maria from What's the Story with Maria. How's it going? Look at who I have with me. Uh, these two adorable bears. That's what we call them. That's what we call hairy guys. Ba bears. Big oh, hairy guys. Big hairy guys. Right. Exactly. Not little hairy guys. Um, so they, uh, they are my friends. They're from San Antonio, Texas. They are great guys. And we were talking earlier on, and they actually are very close to a lot of, um, uh, is it army and air force bases, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. San Antonio is like, uh, military, military city, city. Yeah. military city. So San Antonio, that's where they are from. And hi, Joe Sabino. He just joined us. Uh, Joshua Ty just joined us. Carla or Cole, Chris DePiero just joined us. So what you're going to hear for a radio audience, you're going to hear me doing that a lot. I'll call out some names. And what it is is we're also Facebook living here. And as our friends join us or check in, we want to acknowledge them. And so um, so we want to tell you that you are on uh, armed. This is armeddigitalmedia.com if you want to listen live on the computer. That is how you can listen live every week, Tuesdays, 9 p.m. Eastern, which you guys are what, Central? We're Central. We're central. Okay, yeah. so you're yeah. Central. Hey. Eight. 8 p.m. Yeah. would we'll go, what's the story with Maria? So right now that's happening. Jason Peck has joined. And, uh, Vera Federico has joined. Um, and so if you want to join every week and check us out, also then after this show, we, I'm going to save the video and you can watch it again or restart or whatever or share it with your friends. As a matter of fact, feel free to share it now. If you've checked in and you want to share it on your page, mm -hmm. go ahead and do that or your friend's page. That would be amazing. And I just shared. I just shared it on my page. You People, did, yeah. And there's okay. Craig Lee. There's Craig Lee. Oh, that's Craig your friend. Craig. That is great. Okay, so if you share it on your own pages, then your friends will see it. Kevin uh, Alexander has joined. Craig Lee, uh, Lewis Goldberg, Anthony Fett. Wonderful. Okay, so let's get started. So I met these two amazing, gorgeous, hunky men at a Still club I work at downtown. <laughs> I was singing, and they came in with a very good friend of mine, Steve Bratton. We love Steve. Hi, we Steve. love Steve. I was trying to get Steve on the show tonight, but he's in rehearsal. So he's very busy. What's he rehearsing? Some new show he's in. He didn't give it away. Because I know he dances with the Prairie Dogs. The oh, really? Manhattan Prairie Dogs. Yeah. It's a big country dance team. I didn't, didn't know, know that. that? No, on. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, he's very involved. I, listen, I can't keep up with every Broadway <laughs> dancer I know. There's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> so Steve brought them in, and uh, this was maybe about five, five years ago? Yeah, yeah six years. Five, six, And we became fast friends. And these guys, every time they're in town, they come to see me, and we get to know each other more and more. But, you know, because of Facebook also, I'm able to follow them. And they do a lot of amazing things. They're very creative and people. But we follow each other. So creative people follow each other. And this show, as you know, or if this is the first time you're checking in, it's a New York-based talk show. And uh, my focus is creative people. Hi, and, Tony. Oh, who's that? Your friend? Our friend, yeah, Tony, Tony Garcia. Our, our, back, our backyard neighbors. Oh, my God. Thank you, Tony Garcia. Russell Cook has joined. Thank you for joining us. So um, I interview people in New York or from New York, but I also interview people from other places. And so you have... You both have a restaurant, a restaurant yeah. okay? And you started it, right? I started in 1990. So, so let's say let's say years. our name. So you are Wayne Beers. Wayne Beers. Yeah, I'm Michael. Michael Bobo. Okay. Hi. So Wayne and Michael started this restaurant. Mm -hmm. Oh, you started, and then Wayne came on, right? Or Michael came on? Yeah. Michael, yeah. I'm sorry. Michael yeah, came right. on. And and tell me about the restaurant. What is it like? If we walked in so, there, what would we find? Oh, you would love it. It's an old two story house. Um, we it's a lunch place, so we're only open till four. We're pretty lazy. We open. From 11 to 4, Monday through Saturday. But um, it's busy. It's busy. So yeah. that's what you need. We yeah. serve great food. Um, what is some of the make, food that you serve? Um, Caesar salads. We make them fresh. Um, from scratch. From right? scratch. Yeah. Um, chicken salads. We made a, make the great uh, spinach chicken salad where we use spinach and chicken and lemon pepper. And it's so all your own recipes, right? It's all our own recipes. A lot. Some of them are my mom's recipes. That's what That's what Michael was telling me about. Yeah. So yeah. tell me about the ones that your mom's recipes. Okay, so my mom's recipe is pretty much the tuna salad and potato, uh, salad. potato salad. My dad's recipe is actually the Caesar salad. Okay, so what, what's your origin? I mean, what's your ethnicity? Um, I'm half Italian, half German. Okay, all right. So the, the potato salad is like a German potato salad? Uh, kind of. It's mayonnaise mustard based. All right, great. So, so it's really so good. So it's hearty, yeah, good, hearty, good food. big portions. Yeah. Okay. We're in a big two-story building built in the 20s. So, so did you convert it into a restaurant? It Was it always yes, a restaurant? Yes, we, we bought it, um, and it had been vacant for a while. And we're close to, like, Fort Sam Houston. 
Okay. So we get a lot of the Fort Sam Houston guys there. And Shout out to all. Fort so Sam Houston. We love Fort Yay. Sam Houston. We make um, incredible cookies from scratch. And in fact, a lot of the uh, Fort Sam. Oh, yeah. People, they don't even know the name. Well, they don't even know the name of our deli. They call it. Uh, let's go to that cookie place. place. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you make them fresh every day? Oh, yeah. yeah. From and scratch. Like, as big as giant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you go to, uh, what's the name of, I, I know, but I want you to tell people. Uh, W.D. Deli. W.D. Deli. We're on Broadway um, in San Antonio, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, close to downtown. Okay, so you want to definitely get the big cookies, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. And um, so you, do you also, <laughs> you just, well, your friend came on? Uh, Tony, drag brunch is not coming back. Oh, Oh, no. we used to do a drag brunch there. No. Yes, <laughs> probably. Well, Tony's disappointed, I think. Wait a minute, how yeah. long ago did we do Drag Brunch? Oh, 2005. So, yeah, it was, yeah, a, it was quite a while ago. ago. Um, yeah, oh, that, my God. Yeah. Did it, it was bring fun. in business? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, it was, yeah. it was so busy. Well, that's like our friend Chocolatina. You know Chocolatina Q Dessert. She's now no. out in uh, Colorado doing it at Hamburger Mary's. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Mm. But was at uh, Lips for a long time. All right, so you guys, now are you there every day in the kitchen, or do you run the front of the oh, house? No, or? We're mostly front of the We're house, and but house. you know we've done every job from dishwasher to whatever. So, That's what a good you know you know how does. that goes. Yeah. Um, so and when we started, like we had nothing. But you had, we a, had, hot we had a hot plate and a refrigerator. We had a hot plate So <laughs> what made you crazy. what like what happened one day where you were like, I think I want to own? Did you buy the house first and then decide to come? No, it? that that came later. Okay. Um, so I was in dental school after college. I can't believe this. I can't believe so, this. And I hated it. I didn't it. know this about you. So I hated it, and I dropped out. Um, my parents were not happy. No, of course not. And, but look at you now. Yeah. So, and so, But I wanted to do, I really wanted to do a restaurant, and I thought, oh, I'll be a dentist, and then I'll, I'll well, own a restaurant after that. And then I thought, well, why am I going to do that? Why, right. why don't I just own a restaurant? Okay, so the, and the WD is for your name? Yeah, Wayne Douglas. Okay, My so middle name. All right, so WD Deli, you want to check that out? And what's the address again? Uh, 3123 Broadway. Okay, so San you, Antonio. San Antonio, and uh, it's and it's near what base again? Uh, Fort Sam. Fort <laughs> Sam. So Fort Sam people, go we and love check the Fort Sam. Yes, oh. go and check these guys out. <laughs> Now, Michael, you work there as well, and and a part owner now, right? Yes. But you, what I mean. A few months ago, I ran into you, and you gave me this bottle of cologne. You were like, and I thought, did I not know this about him? What, yeah, I've what been did doing I that. miss? Yeah, I've been doing so it for a few me, years. You created uh, this line, right? Yeah, I've always been kind of obsessed with fragrance and smells and stuff. And I, and I really trace it back to my fifth grade teacher who always smelled so good. Really? Yeah, her name was Dina Underwood, and she was from Waxahachie, Texas. <laughs> I so love it. It wasn't in the spelling book, but she made us learn to spell Waxahachie, Texas. So... Uh, but, I, but I mean, like she was a living Barbie doll, beautiful, you know, the kind of teacher you just like, ah. yeah, you so, just wanna... yeah, yeah. So, it's, and, you know, and I, you know, you just go away going, I want to go back to her desk because she smells so good. I love that. But, uh, but I've always been kind of obsessed with fragrances and stuff like that. So um, there was a time when there were places like Garden Botanica and I can't remember, Bath Junkie. Places where you could mix your own fragrance. Oh, really? They were retail business. Places? You know like, what? They not, were retail businesses. I started doing that. Not pick, really. I mean, the, I don't know if they had them up north. Yeah, you could pick different essential oils, and so. Well, that yeah, yeah. in the '90s. Now that you mention yeah, it, yeah. in the '90s, in um, at on St. Mark's Place, I had a friend that worked in a. It was like an essential oil slash candle store. Right. Oh, wow. But they also did like witchery. Like it was oh. crazy. <laughs> so you would go But we in, do that too. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> like you could go in there and, and talk to Sharon. Sharon was my friend and she'd be like, hold on, I'll be right with you, honey. And then she would be like <laughs> taking Stirring a candle. The cauldron. Well, almost. It was like taking a candle and she would like do some spell over it and ask someone whatever their problem was and they would write it on a, a, a piece of paper and then she would roll the candle in it in the piece of paper. Oh. And then cast some spell. That's and very then, complicated. It was, but we were yeah. all like, That's you were in trance. Yeah. yeah. Whether it worked or well, not, we believed it. It's entertainment and yeah. retail. And, and so, everything. but that's when crystals were really big too. Yeah. The early 90s, everybody, all the late 80s, early 90s yeah. was all about that. Crystals and all that sorcery and, you know, that's so, fun. yeah, I can't remember the name of the store. <laughs> the but <Ouija> boards. <laughs> believe that, but yeah. they, you know. Yeah. So who knows if, I mean, 
But so that was really big. The essential oils people would mix, you know, you right. mix like vanilla and something. Right. Like, Ooh. Right. Yeah. And I started figuring out, well, I can make my own cologne. And people started complimenting me on it and asking me, what are you wearing? And I said, it's something I mixed up. And so that went on for a long time. And eventually, you know, that was the 90s. But eventually those businesses closed. And, right. And, right. and I true. don't know why, but they couldn't make it. So uh, Wayne helped me go online and start sourcing out essential oils and figuring out, right. you know, how you to put to things this. together. And that is not easy. And I know that yeah. because I, I wear three different things that I mix that I've been mixing for years. And I two out of the three of them have been discontinued. So I have to go online. One of them I can only get in England speaking. Well, we're going to bring oh on one and we bring on our Brit and I have to order it from London and it's very expensive now oh, yeah. yeah, because it's been discontinued. So I know because I'm like that too. I love certain you smells. Love smell that. We'll find it. Yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> yes. I love like just, when people yeah. create things. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us about what you got. Show us Michael. Oh. Okay, now we're gonna we are on Facebook Live, but we got to remember on the radio. So uh, you're gonna yeah, show I, it, I'm but gonna, you're also yeah. gonna spell it and um, describe it. My original fragrance is called Bobo Number Fifty Seven, and that's B O B O B O B O Number Fifty Seven. Okay, uh, there's a website Bobo Fifty Seven. You can show it to our, our uh, show Bobo Fifty Seven dot com. It's a beautiful bottle, actually. It's, yeah. it's and, very attractive. Uh, it's very manly. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was intended to be unisex, so I wanted something that wasn't too committal. Well, the lesbians would be attracted to that, too, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not going to reject um, that nice yeah. square. It's a nice, a nice citrus, sandalwood, sandalwood, and sage oh, mix with just a little basil. Uh, this one was With a the little next basil. One. I love that. Yeah. It's really good. The People don't realize what's in basil. thing. Yeah. yeah. This one is just black pepper and basil, and this is Bobo Black. Oh, I love and that. Didn't you do that from um, the drink that we were drinking at one point? Do you oh, remember God. that? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we were drinking. Yeah, we were drinking looking up a, uh, made, uh, a party. We made a specialty cocktail for a party that had. Uh, a you base. guys do a lot of that. <laughs> no, I love it. I, I mean, when I when I watch you on Facebook and you throw a party, you really throw a party. I love that. No, but well, it's details. So yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, creative people are very detail oriented, yeah. and I find that to be so interesting and wonderful. You know. Yeah. You know, when people when someone will take the time to do that, to me that says that. That they're creative, they're intelligent, but they're also like so fun loving. Like you want to be around people like that. Yeah, and and yeah, when you care about the details. Yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. It's all in the details. Absolutely. I also so, started making soap. What this is like new, brand so, new to me. So yeah, tell this us is about goat's it. milk soap. Let me smell uh, it. Using the same essential oils. Oh my god, this yeah. is gorgeous. It good. Yeah, it's so clean. Thanks. It's the yeah. same as this. I'll leave that for you. So okay, so yeah, that's yeah. Bobo. It's 57. Bobo number fifty-seven. Number 57. Um, this is yeah. so clean. Will, you're going to have to smell this when you come it's on. So good. We're going to bring uh, Will on in a minute. And the then, oh, this is the Brit, because it's the Bears and the Brits, Brits. show today. That's <laughs> the hashtag. The, you know, the, the thing that I did, what we didn't bring was uh, Wayne started making candles using the same essential oils. Oh, really? So we have candles as well. And where do you um, sell all this out of? Online? It's, or? it's all online, and then we sell it's it in our, in our business as well. And on, online, it's um, bobo57.com. Yeah. Okay, so B O B O five seven five seven dot com. So usually one of my I have to let, let's acknowledge our friends for a second here because a lot of people come on. Let's see. Catherine Perry, oh, come on. Any of your friends? Oh, Grant yeah. Taylor. Grant hey, Taylor. Grant. Hi Grant. Rod. Uh, Yvette. That's right, Rod. Bloom. It's all about the details. Um uh Tony Garcia is back there. Dana Joel Nicholson, he's my neighbor. He is such a sweetheart. He's gonna help Aww. me put my cable in. Oh my God. He's my tech guy. Thank God for Dana and Emma, his wife. So, um, there's a lot of really cool people that'll come on. If you want to, there's Leo. Okay. Leo, I was just talking about you. So Michael, uh, Bobo here has created a line of fragrances. Let's show those one more time. And the, the website, a lot of times. Get your Leo, credit card out, Leo. Well, Leo, <laughs> what Leo will do is he'll post the website. So it's b o b o fifty seven dot com. So Leo is one of our uh, great friends. He's been on the show, and he's b o b o fifty seven dot com. He will post that. Watch, okay. Give it, or uh, Chris Sapiro will do that sometimes. If anybody is just listening to this on audio and not being able to see us as they are on Facebook, I. I have really beautiful curly hair. I'm really <laughs> tall, swimmer's build. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's some head of hair. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Listen, anyway. you're very handsome. Oh, you you're have to so worry. Sweet. It's not, let me tell you, when we were kids and um, 
well, I'm older than you guys, but no, you're when not. I, yeah, I, I think I am. No, but I when we were kids, I remember that like guys always they did different things with their hairs, and and it was only maybe about twenty years ago that people started like really owning that yeah. that bald, you know, that yeah. really cool yeah. look. It looks and good, you, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks Very great. Sexy. Cause I've seen pictures of you guys, retro pictures, and I'm yeah. like, oh, because this is the way I know you. Yeah, you sure. know. Yeah. But um, listen, you know, you you got to work with your look. But you guys are, <laughs> go you with dress, what you got. You dress really cool. Like when they come to visit me, we they you always usually come in the winter, right? But you're from Texas, so right. you do you buy those all those cool winter clothes? Because <laughs> they look like an it ad, a Gap ad, or a, I just, like a, I just take them off of the homeless people on the streets of New <laughs> York. Well, well, those you always have those really cool hats and like plaids. I almost wore a pla red plaid shirt. I yeah, yeah, nice. And then I was like too hot today. I'm like, yeah. nah. It's, it's warm hot. today. Yeah, it's yeah warm today's today. really warm. Yeah. What's the difference in temperature like in Texas now? Oh, does it uh, ever get chilly there? Oh yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah. What, at night for this very short period yeah. of time. But I mean, our winter is a, a few weeks. And one of those, what, and, and those it, weeks? Oh, it'll get to thirty. Yeah, to really. Yeah, sometimes oh, yeah. in the twenties. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, but oh, this right. summer, I mean, this winter's been bad. It's been like one day it's 30, the next day it's 80. It's very and strange. It's, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I think you're having that, we're having that. We're having that too, but we, you know, we get our winters. So we get, you know, Plus it's, snow. we don't ever have, snow. I love snow. I, I am one of those people that could never just live in a warm. I like the seasons. Yeah. I really do. Have you always lived in Texas? I was born in New York. Oh, you were? Mm. I was born in Queens. I didn't know and that. I, and I um, grew up in New Jersey until I was, um, 14, 15. What made you? Oh, your parents moved to Texas? No, my parents moved to Oklahoma. I went to college in Texas. Really? In mm. Where'd you go? Where'd you go to college? St. Mary's. All University. right, St. Mary's. St. Mary's Shout University. Up. So St. Mary's. Home of the Rattlers. The Rattlers? The Rattlers. I didn't know about that. And Rod Gonzalez, who's on here, yeah. went to college with me. Okay, Rod he's Gonzalez. A, and he's one of my fraternity brothers. And you're still friends. I love that. Yeah. Michael Plosky has joined us. He's been on the show. He's an incredible designer. He says, I love candles. So check out bobo57.com. And we're I'm, selling, we're also selling our candles at a great oh, floral oh, place yeah. called um, Number Nine. Number in Nine San, in San Antonio. San Antonio. Number David, Nine? Really David and Rick. And where they're do you, where, where, do you uh, remember the uh, address? Oh, yeah. They're at the, uh, well, they're moving to a new space at the corner of Blanco and Fulton. Yes. Blanco and Fulton. Blanco okay. and Fulton. Leo Rodriguez, thank you. Leo Rodriguez. Yeah, yes. Bald is beautiful. Yes. yes, and he just posted Michael's website. So thank you, Leo. He's like amazing. Patrick Stewart is sexy, he says. <laughs> See? <laughs> All right, Lonnie hey, Cole Lonnie. and Melendez. Hi, guys. Hey, Lonnie. Hey, Lorraine. Lonnie. A lot of your friends are coming Lonnie, on. Lonnie nice. made uh, Mexican food tonight for her husband. She did? Lonnie, yeah, good yeah. for you. I hope you get Lon a little something. Lonnie's something. a New York girl. Is she? Yeah. She's yeah. A New York girl. I like that. Um, okay, so let's do this for a second. So we want to we wanted to tell you about the fragrances and about the, uh, the wonderful restaurant that these great guys work at. And please go check them out. Uh, we're going to sneak Will in. Yay, Will. Our friend Will T. and Hall for a minute because he's just – well, he's not only my neighbor. He lives seven blocks away. He, I am just crazy about him. And I've been trying to get him to come back on the show for a long time. I ran into him last night. He had just come back from his cruise ship gig. And I said, Will, you have to come do the show. And I, uh, But I had asked him. I gave him the wrong date. So we got a little screwed up. I gave him some wrong dates. But thank you for doing it because he had a previous engagement tonight. And I screwed up the dates. I apologize. So happy birthday to your friend. Happy sure will. He did a little drive-by when I saw his friend. And thank you. Who's your friend that you had to leave? Michael. Michael, I'm Hi. sorry he had to leave your party to come oh, to the show. Michael. Thanks for doing that. Thank oh. you. Yes, and I, I appreciate it. I, I screwed up the dates. I want to know about the cruise. Which cruise was it? So tell us about that. Uh, well, was... Will, you are a musical director, right? You're a musical director. Yep. And uh, you do it a lot of different places. Are you on a cruise ship, right? Yeah. And tell us about that. Let me right. get Michael in there. Just came back from uh, another RSVP vacations cruise. Awesome. Ooh, All right. RSVP and you was... were probably on the cruise with Rod. Rod was on, Rod a was on the cruise. Rod, were you on that? Friends. What? Yeah, the were you on that cruise, Rod? With Holland America. And uh, we love RSVP. They're an awesome uh, uh, yeah. gay travel um, vacations company. And... I work in the piano bar on their cruise ships. Love that. And I have done for five years, and it's just a great time. And it's it's lovely. Who were you working with this time? Uh, I got to work with uh, Miss Laura Pavlis. Oh my God! One of my favorite oh, singers of all time. Yep. 
and uh, Eric Michael Kropp, who is an incredible yeah. uh, vocalist um, who's now uh, moved out of New York and is on the other side of the country. But I, he was with Kenny Green a lot, he was right? With Kenny Green, who is cool. Yeah, the amazing Kenny Green was in the piano bar too. The amazing okay. Kenny. Look at all our likes; they're coming through. Murray's <laughs> Crisis and Brandy's. So yeah, it was a really amazing lineup. And then the whole entertainment is just uh, stellar. The incredible Ann Steele and uh, Ann Steele is oh, amazing. Oh. Do you guys know Ann Steele? Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Kathy Hoffman, Shoshana B, and like we had a really oh, great fine. Good wow, group. Wow, what a great and and uh, Jessica Kirsten. Yeah, Jessica Kirsten is. Oh my God, what. These are all names that we the names we mentioned are all amazing singers and comedians and just like all around amazing entertainers that um, are based some most of the time in New York. There are the clubs that they work at. You just mentioned Don't Tell Mamas that you can find. Will is there on what night? Saturdays. Saturdays and Laura Pavlis. Oh my Good God. Laura, yeah. P A V L E S. And then do you work with Tara Moran? I did. Tara Tara's there on Saturday. Too. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. I say Tara. I cannot. I say Tara. Tara. We had to say Tara, not Tara. It's Tara. Oh, oh it's Tara, Tara now. Okay. Yeah. No, she had to say Tara. Don't get very fancy. No, it's not me. <laughs> it's not the, that's not even the British thing. Tara is always like, she's very specific. She's like, Tara okay. is actually from Texas. She's from. Oh, she uh, is? I'm not quite sure. Uh, Village State College Station. Maybe. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, and, she, and she is Tara. She's she's very American. All right, then Tara very it very is. Tara Moran. <laughs> Laura Pavlis, and two of the most amazing, amazing singers, yeah. female singers in this town, and they work at Don't Tell Mamas on and Saturday night. So much night. fun to go to. You've been there, right? Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, lots of fun. So yeah. you'll have to you'll have to tell them. You know, I was I was on there with Will T and Hall, and we were talking <laughs> about you. Yeah, they're really. I want to have them both on the show at different times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, that is a diva. Yeah, no Those, cat fight. No yeah, no, fight. no, we don't need to, we don't need to uh, start a cat fight, God no. They're very close. Yeah, no, I'm sure. But I like to give people their time, you know. Yeah, sure. Things. So, um, uh, okay, so, and Ann Steele, she's not working at Piano Bar anymore. Ann Steele is not, no, no, she's she just does the country, and she yeah. has her, all, she has all of her. Many um, albums. Many albums, her main singles, she's doing a lot of writing, um, she's doing a lot of, yeah, a lot of she's very right. cool stuff. Oh, my God, so, yeah. and, and do, uh, Nate and Cherry plays for her, and right? So, right, and so Nate is actually um, music and, directing is the kind of head of all the music on the ship with RSVP. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. He's so good. He's oh, wonderful. He's so yeah. good. So, yeah, he's running And so crazy. He's music. so funny. Yeah, he's uh -huh. brilliant. He is an absolute genius. And it's yeah. a joy to watch him work and to be around him. Amazing. Amazing. I worked yeah. with him at Brandy's a few, maybe about a month ago on a, a Saturday night, I think. And what nights do you work at Brandy's? Do I work at Brandy's? Yeah. I fill in at Brandy's. Oh, okay. So sometimes Fridays and Saturdays. Okay. Because my schedule has changed a lot. So I used to fill in on Tuesdays, but now right. I do the radio show. So I used to work with Michael Isaacs, who I love. Actually, I always say this. After this, after you're done watching What's the Story with Maria, you want something fun to do, and you're in the New York area, go to Brandy's Piano Bar. It's um, East 84th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. Okay. Michael Isaacs will be there with LaDonna, um, LaDonna Burns and uh, J uh, Gregory Lopez, Greg Justin Gregory Lopez. So amazing people. There's so many great people in piano bar in the city. It's amazing. The pool of talent. Right? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And always... you know, you could pay like over a hundred dollars for Broadway show. And sometimes you get a better experience at one of these piano yeah, bars. True. Yeah. We went to club Cummings last night. Oh, how Cummings was it? Was fun. No. Oh, wow. I'm... Like I think Monday nights is, um, open mic kind of piano open bar. Night. Okay. Yeah. There was a guy there who played, um, ukulele, ukulele and sang uh, Madonna song. <laughs> wow. That was so good. Um, it's it's different stuff though, yeah, right? Yeah. Do they have, they have a piano or is yeah, it? Yeah, they have a piano. Like, yeah. Okay, and people. And then one of our friends, Henry Kapersky, plays sax there a lot of times, and also accordion. Really? Yeah, on Wednesday nights sometimes, and sometimes on t all different nights. It's like, but I have to get down there. It's a fun bar. And yeah. if you go to um, if you go to Club Coming, which is on East Sixth, I think, right mm -hmm. between like First and Second. Uh, it's uh, off of Avenue A. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right around the corner on First Avenue and Fifth Street is one of my favorite Italian restaurants in the city called Three of Cups. And the owner there is Anthony Barilli and his wife, Justine. They're my friends. Tell them Maria sent you. Maria <laughs> oh, from the West. Oh, oh you're cool. Gonna, they have this gigantic brick oven that they make pizzas in. And it's really dimly lit in there. It's really, it looks gothic almost. And just the food is delicious. So speaking of food, I want to segue into our food section. And then we're going to go back <laughs> and talk about it. The name of our food section is, our segment is, go ahead, keep eating. <laughs> so tonight, I was like, what can I make for these big boys, you know, these hearty eaters? Uh, Plus, they own a restaurant, so, you know, you don't 
they've bought, and they're from Texas. They've had steak. They've had pulled pork. They've had all that great stuff. I'm not going to compete with that, but I make great Italian food. So I made um, pasta so bouillonnaise. Nice. These are gili, gili shape, the shape of pasta. This really, it's macaroni, they call it. So macro, uh, gili are lilies. And so now it's spring is around the corner. So then shape of lilies, but I made a meat sauce. So a bouillonnaise, which is like a mm. ground beef, delicious meat mm. sauce. I made it fresh today while they were taking apart my bathroom there. That's another <laughs> story. And uh, I'm sure all the construction workers and plumbers were, because they were like, oh, that smells delicious. Oh, they were drooling. Thinking that I was drooling. cooking for them, but I, I mean, I would have oh, loved no. to cook for them, but I was cooking for my big boys here. So these, this is um, Gilly Bouillonnaise. And uh, you see the contrast in the sweet, beautiful flour with the meat sauce right on top there, because these are beautiful oh, boys, so <laughs> but they're hearty boys. So they're lilies with meat sauce. There you go. I know, nice piece of bread, although I have, I got a gigantic loaf of bread, which we'll have later. All right, and now when you say macaroni, do you mean? It's kind of a generic, is it a generic term pasta? for pasta. You know, no? it's funny. Some some people, like I usually say pasta, but a lot of my uh, my viewers will say, no, macaroni is like when Anything. it's shaped like something. Oh, okay. Pasta is like the long, like the spaghetti, oh, okay. linguine. Uh, okay, that makes you sense. You know, but I don't know. I mean, I think my mother used to say macaroni. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, people will say macaroni I think my salad. Said, I think my yeah. Says macaroni. Yeah, yeah, it's like a debate. Yeah. Now, here's our dessert. We're sticking with the Italian. This is uh, Venki, let me see, Venki buono, uh, Buonissimo. So what this is, it's delicious Italian chocolates from Italy. Wow. My, yeah. yes, these are from Italy. My, my, You're getting the star treatment? You certainly are. <laughs> wow. Well, because I have to impress uh -huh. you. You own a restaurant. <laughs> so my friend Cheryl, who's my neighbor upstairs, she married this really great Italian guy. He's a drummer in like a big rock and roll band in Italy. So they go back and forth. And she brought me back these because I take in her mail and all things of that nature. So I got these delicious chocolates. We're going to enjoy these. But I also have other desserts in the kitchen, which I've. I stockpiled dessert. You never have too many desserts. Yes. Listen, you know, I'll, I'm just one of those people. I have to have dessert. I want to try these cookies from your restaurant. Oh, okay, yeah. We'll so I'll have to send you some. Oh, we'll send I would love amazing. that. Yeah. yeah we'll that would be things. great. So have you guys gone on any of these cruises? Yes. Yes. Well, well we, we haven't done, done the we haven't done our, our we 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 the Atlantis. Atlantis. Yeah. Um, Which, that's yeah. a different company, right? Yeah. Uh, well, no, it's actually the same. It's the same. It's one of the same people. Yes. There's a tie there, yeah. Yeah. And what's the food on these cruises like? Good. I mean, is it good? I it's good. always enjoy it very much. Yeah. And it kind of depends on the ship line, the actual cruise line that you're on. It doesn't really depend on Atlantis. Oh, okay. or, uh, you mean yeah. where you're going? Yeah. yeah. No, but the, no, food, but the exactly. food will be like on the ship. Like, uh, you know, certainly Carnival Cruises has different food than Royal Copenhagen. Or Which ones do you like the best? Celebrity. Oh, celebrity. celebrity. You didn't see, you didn't even... I didn't even finish my sentence. Right. And you knew. I know it. What makes Celebrity Cruise Line so great? I just uh, uh, on Celebrity, I feel better taken care of. I okay. really do. I, um, yeah. You feel safe. And those have always been Mediterranean cruises, so that's a big. Difference. Do you go to? Did you go to Greece? Where did yeah, you go? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Italy, Spain, Greece. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So um, France. That, yeah. With that being said, actually, with um, our family, which is another, which is more of a an LGBT um, family families and, and the R for Rosie is that our, right? our, yeah. we're formerly and then so now oh, no, it's, it's still our, our fam now it's our family mm. and they're actually working with celebrity doing a lot of cruises oh, yeah. each year so that's really wow. lovely so yeah so oh that's cool check I'll out our family those. vacations I do yeah I'm music director for our family and Will when you go on these cruises how long do you stay out there oh they're really short contracts I'm very fortunate so I get to because I miss home a lot so of course it's only like a week and then uh, we'll come back and then a lot of them can be like close close to each other so we have an our family trip uh, in like two weeks' time. Wow. Uh, still get to oh, be wow. home for three weeks and then go back out. That's cool. So I'm Fine. very fortunate. It's very Fine. nice. Our friend Daka checked in. You know Daka. I certainly do. Hi, Daka. Uh, How are you? Uh, uh, Is she hi, Daka. Dancing around? And Wendy, Where? yes. And, and this your friend? No, David when? Garcia. David gave us the address for number nine. Where oh, you can where you can buy you. the candles, seventeen oh one Blanco we Road. Created, um, okay, seventeen oh one Blanco Road is where you can also get the candles. Right, and uh, we created fragrances for that, especially company. for them. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So what's yeah. it called? What's their fragrance called? Ooh. One is um, Laveau for Laveau. Marie Laveau. Oh, I love that. And then the and other the one, one is, is uh, number nine. Number nine. Yeah, they're great. Sean Morris said, oh, wow, I saw him on the cruise. He's amazing and super dreamy. He is dreamy. Ooh, he even, is he dreamy. looks even better right here. Whoa. <laughs> 
And you just uh, gotta, he's adorable. You see the Brits and the Bears and get along. That's why. I mean, yeah. And he's so shy. <laughs> oh my God. He is a little bit shy. A little bit shy he is. Okay, so um, so people have been, I, do you know that I've never, ever been on a cruise? Michael Barberi has joined us. Shanna Sharp. Yes, Shanna. Shanna oh, Sharp, wow. our friend. Yes, Shanna has an amazing, um, great bar, a bourbon bar called Mess Hall. Um, Mess is Hall that? is on for 2194 Frederick Douglass Boulevard between wow. 118th and 119th. It is such a it's cool great. neighborhood. I just really have been spending time up there because I started managing Saturday and Sundays up there. And I am loving it. Do they only have bourbon? Is it? No, they, they that, have other things. But it's kind of whiskey themed. Yeah, their specialties are bourbons and whiskeys rise, and they have over 50 varieties. Wow. 50. They is also have a drink that you make a lot of, like that's like well, they people love old fashions, mm -hmm. and they they just created a whole line of new drinks that are really interesting. Like some of them have rosemary, fresh. Like you speak, oh. you guys would actually love it because it's very fragrant. They're they're the cocktails are not just drinks that they mix together. They're like muddled. There's a lot of muddled stuff. There's a, you know, they they light things on fire. It's really amazing. And wow. if you're a, a lover of of drinks that are made that way, crafted, yeah, a crafted drink. You're gonna love mess hall. Now you might that night might not be your thing. However, <laughs> if you just love beer, they have like, God, like seven or or eight different drafts, really cool uh, craft like beers. Kind of craft beers. Yep. Yeah. And then they also have like your PBR, your Modelo, and a shot. They oh, have wow. specials. Yeah, I love that. Really cool stuff. There's something for everybody. And then they have these gourmet hot dogs. And Ooh, if you're yeah. a vegetarian, they have veggie hot dogs. And guacamole. Go. So you can go you there go. and you can get these amazing crafted drinks, but like, you know, you're hungry, you want to get some stuff, you can get it, and it's all really reasonable. So you got to check out Mess Hall, 2194 Frederick Douglass Boulevard up in Harlem. And let me tell you, I'm in love with that neighborhood. Yes. Yeah, in love with it, right? You and also the bathrooms, you can write, on, the bathrooms have chalkboards on the sides, right? The walls, made yes. of, like blackboards, sorry. So you write, in chalk and you can leave like people messages which Ooh. i find <laughs> wow so if someone well, someone is in the line like about myself see this is what i would do this gave me ideas no so you've done you've left messages i have you. gone in there and i've read a lot of the things on the walls and they're all very exciting sometimes usually i'll leave messages for shanna yeah like, hey shanna shanna is our <laughs> she's gonna go in the men's room well, no doing? it's just a regular bathroom right. oh, it's okay. just one bathroom oh, okay. and it's together. like your yeah. house what does shanna say shanna says give me that sauce she wants that sauce. oh <laughs> shanna banana if you're close by just come over you know where i live you know where i live shanna's been on the show she's gonna come back because we're bringing her back with she also shanna's one of these entrepreneurs that does everything like you guys and um she also has a band called siren it's three oh, wow. women, Siren Music NYC. I think that's their website. And they play guitar and sing with these beautiful harmonies. So Shanna and her band are going to come back on the show because I had her on the show with her husband-to-be right before they got married in the summer. And he's a, a great artist. So I'm, I'm bringing people back now because there's so much to do. And Leo is jealous. But Leo, <laughs> you know, I, I will always cook for you guys. I love to cook for people. That's my thing. So uh, Jay Rivera has joined us. He's been on the show. So yeah, like, you know, the thing I think, I don't know if you guys have this with your restaurant is, do you start, I want, there's a question I have for restaurant people and, and Shanna too. Do you start with a theme and an idea or do you just open and see what starts to work and what doesn't work? Hmm. I think for us, uh, really Wayne started with a theme of being a deli and doing soups, salads, sandwiches. And then we started responding to what was different popular, trend, different, food different trends. trends. Okay. Uh, and w that's one of the great things about traveling is that you can pick up things from visits to New York or Chicago or wherever you have to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, when you guys come to town, you always go to a lot of shows, though. I've noticed that. Yes. And you see a lot of entertainment. You go to all yeah. the piano bars. Yes. You go. I see that all the time. We you went to see. Um... Hello, Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Did you? Yes. Oh, how was it? Well, she was yeah. great. It was yeah. really good. Yeah. And. Uh, once on this island, which was a which beautiful was show. You know, that's my favorite musical of all time. I saw it originally. A lot of people really? say that. I saw it's it in favorite. 1990. It was it's my absolute favorite. That's yeah. uh, what are the writers are gonna? Can, oh, it's Stephen Flaherty and Ben Aaron. Who yeah. also wrote okay. Ragtime. Correct. Oh wow. And they wow. wrote um, Lucky Stiff. Yes. Which is 
and one really more. It's going to drive me crazy. I'll think of it in a minute. I like that. And when was the original? The original like the was in 1990, and I was the first Broadway show I ever saw. Because I, really cool. I grew up in Massachusetts, so I saw shows yeah. when they would come on tour. But I fell in love wow. with the music. Well, if you get a chance, this production's beautiful. That's yes. what I've heard. Yes. It's in the round, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, I love that. Circle in the Square. Circle in um, the Square. There's so many people in it, too, that, like, um, Tamira Gray from American Idol. Norm wow. Lewis. Norm, Norm Lewis. Lewis is our friend. He's Leah Villa Villa Villa. Villa Canita. She's, okay, so yeah. she's going to get that Tony Canita. Yeah. Who's, who, oh, who, yeah. who does she play? She plays um, Timoon's mother. Oh, right. Timoon's, Timoon's mother. mother. Right, right. Oh, so wow. She's, she she was the fight because she show. has she been nominated? So time. Not, oh. not yet, but I'm, I'm gunning for it. Uh, when did the nominations come out? May? Sometime? I don't know. I love the Tonys. I love the Tonys. Have you ever been? No. I we need to fix that. Yeah. Yes, yes. But I got to tell you, I'm not one that, I, I don't get dressed up too much. You know, that's my whole thing. It's like, oh, now I got to get dressed up. I like stuff like that. I like watching it, but I always feel like I don't have the right thing to wear. Well, it's, always, it's always fun to have a Tony's party. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah. 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 You know, I think it's easier to be a guy and, and put on a great suit. Or, but you guys so don't just easy. wear suits. So easy. You wear like, you have vests and bow ties. And, ah. You really go for it. Yeah. You're very sharp dressers, both of you. Sweet. No, it's true. It's true. I always notice how men are dressed. Um, and I just feel like, it, you, again, attention to detail, yeah. right? Uh, Michael, would you ever think about, uh, it, it, you know, once this takes off, I'm not going to say if it takes off because it's going to take off. Once it takes off, would you ever think about opening like a boutique type place? Sure. Let's you do are, it. I think that, yeah. right? Can't you just oh, see yeah, my yeah, be yeah. Great. Yeah. Because your look is amazing. Like, I've seen you wear so many great things. Oh, cool. Have Thanks. you always been someone that l liked clothes? Yeah. 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 But let me, oh, can I tell you about the Anything first time that we had to own our being a bear thing? Oh. What? Yeah. Because, we, you know, um, 15 years ago, we didn't really consider ourselves bears, right? Right. Well, you kind of, people morph into bears. Yeah, I think, I think right? so. Yes. But when we really were slapped in the face with it, it was one day shopping. And uh, a salesperson, where were we at? Neiman, Neiman Marcus, Marcus. Oh, of where this guy, <laughs> you know, this guy usually. Stephen L. Bell, you know all about that. One of our <laughs> usually friends. waited on us at Neiman Marcus, and we're looking at, you know, shoes or then whatever. And he goes, oh, my favorite bears are here. And we were like. And we were like, what? Neither of us said a word. No. But once we walked away, we thought, oh, we have to own that now. Yeah. We yeah. Have to, yeah. Okay, so was it like just a shock thing? But it you, was. I, yeah, kind of. I mean, we're like we didn't consider ourselves twinks or anything like right. that. Right. But well, yeah. bears doesn't mean you're well, older. I, know, right? I, yeah. never be a twink. I don't even know why I am anymore. I want to. I'm an otter. Well, no, I think I'm more of a beaver. At this point. A, beaver. a beaver? What is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's all crazy. Please it's all crazy. tell me. I mean, so I want to acknowledge my cousin Joanna has joined us. She put a big oh, heart there. Joanna. She's fabulous. My cousins are fabulous. So Joanna's a hairdresser and. Um, she has just joined us. Uh, is she, is she wanted. We need to get her to cut Jimmy's hair. Is that the thing? You know, she's one of the ones that could cut Jimmy's hair. Yes, <laughs> Jimmy Bell, our friend, who is our producer tonight, and um, also he does everything. He's the engineer. He's the technician. He's the producer, and he. Um, we're we're going to get him a haircut. We're sponsoring this. You know, uh, Joe Rocks. If you're listening, let's just get this going. We're going to get Jimmy an amazing haircut. We should go to either uh, Joanna or you could go to Joyce's. You know, you tend to go to Joyce's. I think take them there, get Gina to to hit that. <laughs> and, and and we're gonna make Jimmy look like a movie star for the for the maybe the Tonys, I think. By Tony oh, season, yeah. which is June eighth usually right. around, Jimmy's gonna look like a movie star. That's it. I'm gonna sponsor that event. I'm sure. gonna we'll start like a campaign, you know. I don't know. I, we'll come up with it. Danny McCormick has joined us. Hi, Danny. Sean Morris. Okay. Uh, well, let me Will see. Will has been leaving website. dirty notes. Shannon said you've been leaving dirty notes <laughs> in the bathroom at Mess Hall? <laughs> oh, wow. Only about himself. You don't draw only those, about himself. You don't draw phallic <laughs> notes. At Mess Hall. No. Never. Oh, my God. But I actually enjoy, at the end of the night, because I get there usually about 6, and then I leave about 3. And I enjoy uh, the before and after. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it, actually, there's some really cool stuff on there. Sometimes I take pictures of it. Yeah. Because I'm oh, like, and then they have that the really cute, cool light, uh -huh. you know? That's cool. So yeah. it's like anything can happen. It's really cool. We have so much fun. All right. So, what are some of your, let's go, I, let's go back to food for a second. What are, growing up were some of your like favorite foods growing up? I'm going to start with, with, uh, 
Mm, when my mom used to make uh, lasagna, probably about. Is your mom's twice. Italian? My mom's Italian. And your dad's so German. She, my dad's German. So she would make it probably twice a year, and we would help her. And so, like, she would slice the fresh mozzarella. Yep. And you would eat it while you were making yeah, it. Lasagna yeah. is one of the. the I love it, making that. Do you? Because it's yeah. a pain in the ass. Yeah. I mean, it's delicious. It's like the yeah. payoff is so worth it. But lasagna takes a long yeah. time. But I. I don't cook sausage. my lasagna noodles anymore. Do you? There's a place that I go to. I, I don't know if they have these fresh pasta places in Texas, but in New York, my favorite place is Raffetto's. It's R-A-F-F-E-T-O. Okay. Raffetto's pasta. They make fresh pasta there. They have these machines, and you see uh -huh. human beings actually pulling them out, not just like mass production. Right. Pulling them out. They make uh, like 20 different kinds of pastas, varieties. It's on... Uh, let me see. Houston Street between McDougal and Sullivan. Raffetto's. It's, oh. You have to check it out. Soho? Next okay. Yeah, it's yeah, like the end of. of the village, the beginning of Soho. Okay. Right on that. Um, and they, it's my favorite. So lots of times I'll go there. They have ravioli, different kinds of ravioli. Oh, so I'll buy them lots of times and then just put them in the freezer ah. and then cook them. Like they have like walnut and gorgonzola, uh, spinach, lobster. Squid ink, so they'll have like squid ink pasta with lobster filling. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. <laughs> so, so, if you do lasagna like that, do you? Um, you I buy the, the no, I buy the pasta from them, and it's fresh, so it's, it's kind fresh, of... it's sheets of pasta. Lasagna, you ask them, tell them yeah. you want, they'll give you more than you need, which is good. They'll give yeah. you, they'll say, How many pans you're making? And you know, <laughs> and then the original lady is there, she's you know, she's she's from Italy, I think her name is Roma. She's Roma judging Rosetta. you, she's judging oh, you. Oh, yeah, she's really cool. And she makes zucchini bread. It's just really cool. And then you go there and you say, I'm going to make two pans of lasagna. And she'll tell you what you need. She's not going to take any. She'll just say, right. this is what you need. And they put like that semolina on it. Yeah. Uh, and then you go home and you put it in sheets and you just bake it with the oh, regatta and right. the meat and right. the, or whatever you want to make, yeah. the spinach lasagna. I like a meat lasagna. I'm sorry, vegetarians or vegans. I know I disappoint you, but I love like, yeah. I love you guys. We one time made, um, Made what do we do? Make pasta in Italy? What was the yeah. pasta we made? You mean in the machines? No, 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 no. On those little oh, boards. Oh, oh those cavatelli? Boards. Yeah, something Will like you that. Roll it? Yeah, yeah, roll little, with your, yeah. Is that with what it is? Your thumb? Cavatelli. Yeah. So what it is is it's like a disc and you just roll it yeah. with your thumb right, and it right. rolls up. That's called cavatelli. On a little board. You know what? Okay. That's really good. My mother used to make cavatelli with like just oil, garlic, and broccoli rob. Oh my god. Good. It's called um it, there's a name there's a name for it but it's so delicious that's all just like take a little olive oil throw like fresh garlic cloves in there and it's got to be super hot so you right. just like take the pan and you get it really like yeah. going and then a, some cracked pepper you're steaming your broccoli rob just a little bit steamed and then you take that pasta out you th drain it throw it in that oil Throw that broccoli rub in and you just toss it all together. Boom, serve it right away. Wow. So oh my God. And if you want to go crazy, throw a little sausage in, <laughs> which is what I like to you do. You want to lose your mind. If you want to lose your mind, throw a little sausage in there. So, Will, we talked about like, uh, I still have the Branston pickle in the fridge. You know? I love Branston pickle. Last time yeah, we had Penny. Will was on. It's like a chutney. Yeah, he and Penny, we had like, like uh, food that's like popular in Britain. They brought like uh, bangers and mash. And then we have Branston pickle, which I didn't know what it was. Scotch eggs. Scotch eggs. What are so, scotch eggs? They're a boiled egg with like sausage meat around them, and then they're rolled in breadcrumbs and fried. Oh, wow. I know, right? <laughs> That's what's, like the, yeah. What's bad about that? The, nothing. nothing. Ron Gonzalez. Oh, Rod. Rod Gonzalez. Oh, Rod Gonzalez. There he is. To, uh, Todd Edmonds. Yeah. Gnocchi. Todd. Tom, you're not gonna believe this. I have gnocchi in my refrigerator as we speak. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I'm that I am your typical Italian because I was in a store the other day and I saw, I was like, gnocchi, and I bought them. So I'm going to make those for myself this week. Um, I love gnocchi. What's your favorite pasta, folks? Let, let us know. Also, I want to tell people that um, if there's a dish that you want, to, uh, you want me to make <laughs> or you want uh, me to answer questions about, let me know. If I know how to make it, I'll make it. Or uh, I can maybe get some answers for you. Or tell me, this. here's your homework this week. I try to give my, my guests homework every week. Your homework this week is let me know some of your favorite pastas. 
And people that aren't Italian or don't know of these things say, well, what do you mean? Pasta's pasta. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. There's so many. There's ziti. There's uh, tubatini. There's uh, rollatini. There's uh, farfalle. There's, oh my God, it's endless. Tortellini. There's cavatelli. There's a lot of different wonderful pastas. And they're, they're designed, they're the wagon wheels also, to hold mm -hmm. different things. Like if you make a meat sauce, uh, it's good to have things that would hold, that would catch the meat. And hold it. That's why I chose the Gili too, because they're they have a like an opening, and the meat will. I know it sounds crazy, but it. It's really true, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that is true. Now, do you you know what else I like? Like aversions on pasta that are like from other cultures. Like I love pierogies. Mm -hmm. I love Peking uh, Peking ravioli. I love all the different. Yeah. I love that stuff. What do you guys tend to eat? You you stay in shape though, right? You both are. <laughs> no. You don't work out. I thought you did. <laughs> that was another post, maybe. Maybe that was uh, maybe those were oh, yeah, the two posted, other if I went bears. To the gym, I posted it, trust me. <laughs> maybe there were two other bears that were rocking out. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Or, or once a week. Ta though. Drive by the gym and tag yourself there. <laughs> <laughs> That's an idea. Hey, listen, you know I'm so lazy, right? I belong to this gym like literally two blocks from here. Planet Fitness Juco. Oh, we yeah, we belong. Yeah. yeah, and I today I thought, oh, I can go to. Cause it might, might, oh, so what happened today was my bathroom, the, it's leaking downstairs. The poor guy downstairs is a broken pipe. So they have to, uh, they have to crack through my bathroom floor and his ceiling. And so nothing in my bathroom is working. They give me keys to a different apartment. That's a New York story for you right there. They're like <laughs> apartment, blah, blah, blah is open. Here are the keys because yep. So right. That's what happens. But, um, this is what I could have done. I could have gone to the gym and taken a shower or I could have gone to Jersey to Judy's and I went to Jersey. So I was like, I don't want to go. If I go to the gym, then I have oh, to work out. Kind of, I was yeah. very lazy. Oh, Could have gone two blocks. Such I, a production. I know. But then I thought, yeah. then I have to work out. Yeah. Why Why do that? It's awful. Mm. So after this, we are going to eat. Yeah. For sure. Um, and let's reiterate again, if you just joined us. So Wayne has a restaurant. And it's, tell w us about it. WD Deli. And where Sorry. is it? It's um, 3123 Broadway in San Antonio, Texas. Okay. Um, lots of good soup. And it's only open from 11 to 4. Yes. What made you close early like that? We're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> so that gives you a nice well, you know, We want a life. You know, That's, figured, I love that. Because you know, a yeah. lot of people that own their own businesses do not have lives. No. Yeah. And we want a life and we do other things. And I do art. Do you? I didn't know uh, about that. Yeah, we paint. I didn't know that. Wayne, yeah, you didn't talk about yeah. that. What kind well, of painting? Um, a lot of abstract. Yeah, yeah. yeah, oil painting, watercolors. No, a lot of acrylic. Acrylic. Yeah. Wow, that's a whole other thing. Yeah, you'll have to post some of your stuff on okay. there once well, we, because once we save the video and then people can continue. People come back and watch it. You can watch yeah. it forever. I mean, but usually think, during the week. And we will. On, we'll watch um, it forever. I think I'm, Facebook gets, um, um, he has a page for that. So Wayne D. Beers, Wayne D. Beers artist. artist. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you'll have to like connect yeah. us to it. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe I'll. What I'll do is I will um, add it up there. Add, add it, it up there. Add add it up yeah, there. yeah, that would be so cool. Yeah. Okay. Rod, and yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was gonna say Rod, put it up there. Can you? Oh yeah, uh, Rod. Rod. Rod can do it. Rod if Rod can do it, <laughs> that would be really cool. All right, so let's or see. I saw Karen Mead was on. Are you still on, Karen? <laughs> Roberta MacGyver has joined us. Tony, I love showering at the gym. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's a whole other story, yeah, that's, Tony. That's, Thanks uh, a lot. It's a, <laughs> it's a PG show. In our, our trash can. Oh, well, that, <laughs> thank God that's all he puts in the trash can. <laughs> I, that's what I was thinking. What does he put in the uh, gym? Leo, sausage tortellini. That sounds great. Yeah, that sounds, oh, that sounds really good. delicious. Um, and so uh, Jay Rivera says you're a great cook. Thank you, Jay. Jay's been at many of my parties. So, Michael, tell us once again how uh, we can find your delicious fragrances. Bobo57.com. B-O-B-O-5-7.com. Fabulous. And yeah. let's, let me see the other one. Is the Bobo yeah. Black? Ah, uh, yeah. What does this smell like? I've smelled the other stuff. Smell I just, it. I want to smell Karen, it. Uh, Karen Mead's been Whoa. wearing it. Whoa. Yeah. Isn't that great? Wow. I almost like this better. Yeah, keep that. It's for you. No, you don't have yeah. to. No. You yeah. sure? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't that yeah, right. delicious? Yeah. Yeah, really like, nice. you can't stop smelling that. That's <laughs> very, that's like. It's very spicy. Yeah. It's see, I'm more. It's sexy in a different way. Yeah. Ah. That's sexy and clean. Yeah. 
that's like you're going out. Yeah. Okay, you're going into a really nice, you want to smell really good and you want to make a good impression. This is you want to get someone to come home with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really? Uh, the Brits say playful. I just say like that's like got a little animal thing. I'm getting slightly turned on by this. Yeah. I know. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's something that's happening a, that's there, an right? Endorsement. <laughs> Global Black so far yeah. has got it's winning for me. Wow, great. Yeah, uh, and uh, and then the soap. Let's bring on the soap. Uh, soap, soap. So this is, and you have how many soaps do you have? Uh, it's just uh, one right soaps now. I just make, you know, kind you're of when I'm in the mood or oh, when, I, okay. when I have Fresh the supplies. Batches? Yeah, small batch. Everything's made in small batches. Um, See, that's really amazing. And so I make you... it myself. Yeah. And you make it yourself. Yeah. yeah. These little bakers. So if you buy, if we buy something from you, you've just made that. I made that. it. Yeah. It's yeah. not like it's coming from a factory. <laughs> no, no. I make it. I package it. I pour it in this little bottle. I put this sticker on here. Yeah. And then you yeah. ship it out to people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, everybody. Listen. So let's think. You're going to help me with this. What kind of man would buy? Let's bring both these fragrances <laughs> back. What kind of man would buy Bobo Fifty Seven as opposed to what kind of man would buy Bobo Black? You're asking me this? Yeah. Is it because I'm a really good authority on men? <laughs> well, are you? Yes. Like you're to but Maria. also, you're very worldly. Uh, you on these cruise ships? I mean, I like this is men. very clean. Frankly, I will wear them both. I really do like them both. Yes. Very much. Um, I think that yeah, bubble black is so sexy. This is a, a very masculine, a very earthly to me, like very just like. Very sexy. Putting your best friend forward. Yes, yeah, sure, absolutely. absolutely. You want like, even if I smut that on somebody at any time of the day, on the on subway, that, the like, or business meeting. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, She's nice. Yeah, with a suit. A suit. Really this is, I think of suit when I, I smell this. Yeah. But even like if you were out in a cabin, like in the woods, and you wanted to like put a spritz on, I think that'd be like great. that. <laughs> See, now we've gone to a cabin in the woods. And Michael oh, is wearing really? his plaid. It just what gets we, better all the time. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna cook for us. You, you boys go out. Woods, woods, bears. Woods, bears. You guys go out and chop wood or whatever the hell you do out there. And I am going to cook for us in the kitchen. Someone's going to be wearing Bobo 57. And then what's happening with the Bobo Black? Where would we be with that? Uh, well, Maybe club coming. Come on, Will. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's good a club good coming. Yes, that's a good. That. The eagle. I could see <laughs> the eagle. The eagle. Sure. I could see a lot of the nasty. The Tonys. Like the, the Tonys. Tonys. Oh, coming would wear this at the Tonys. Absolutely. <laughs> I could, I could smell Hugh Jackman in this. Yes, but Jeff. You'd like to. Jeremy, <laughs> Le, Jeremy Irons would wear the Bobo ah, Right. right? Yeah. Okay, this is yes. good. See, now we're finding. Wow. I like Very this. I like specific. This. Uh, that's how I think. I, I think very specific. <laughs> very specific All right, so we are coming to the end of our show, and we want to uh, thank everybody in San Antonio, Texas, that um, clicked on and watched our show. I hope you will stay with us. People, my watch friends, again. please watch again. And my friends that don't know these guys, now you do. So please follow them. Go to their pages and uh, friend them or follow their – go on their websites and – they do amazing things, and that's how we all become friends and we get connected. If anybody goes out to San Antonio and goes to visit, please let them know that you saw them on What's the Story with Maria. Will T. N. Hall, um, Saturday nights, Don't Tell Mamas, yeah. with the two amazing uh, Pavlis yep, and yeah, Moran. Yeah, yeah. And who are the guys that you so work we with? we have uh, Tommy J. Doe's as well, Love him. award-winning, and we have Brian Kalinowski. I don't well. know Brian. Brian's great. He's very, very fun, very talented. They're okay, incredible great. Incredible stuff, amazing. All right, wonderful. So you're gonna you're gonna be able to find Will and Will. Wait, oh my God, bring up the oh, stuff yeah, you want to talk about. Well, uh, well, real quick, we'll talk about more at some point. I think in the future, once we yes, do but this please. Relaunch. But there's gonna be a request system soon um, online called. Uh, wait, what's it called? It's called uh, Total TN Request. Total TN. S spell request. it. Spell it. T O T A L T N R E Q U E S T. And uh, basically, per two weeks, you can make requests for songs you'd like to have covered by either myself or a bunch of uh, cabaret and Broadway singers and musicians. And we're oh, going to wow. put them out uh, and go live with them sometimes, but we're going to mostly record them and make sure they're really perfect for you and then put them out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all the rest of that jazz. That's Unbelievable. Awesome. Wonderful. Oh God, that's incredible. Okay, Jimmy, how much time we have? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Jimmy Bell, our thank friend. You, thank you to Michael Bobo, Wayne Bears, Will T. and Hall, and all of you, we so appreciate you. Thanks come for back, watching. Come back every week. Thank you.